just another day for me, and we are in tequila with production distiller, Mr. Augustine Sanchez, and this is Mario, his interpreter, yes. and plus he runs the production as well. Yeah. And I learned something very interesting in, in being in Mexico this time around, that Mexican people don't cry, they drink <laughs> tequila. tequila. So here we are, water of Mexico, how do you say it in Spanish? Agua de México. Agua de México. There are several expressions. The difference from, uh, from each expression is the age or the maturity of the product in, in, in the aging process. The Blanco is a non-age product or less than two months. But so it has to be Blanco less. in English is white. Yes, it's white. In the industry they also call it silver. Silver. Yeah, because it's normally non-coloring and bright okay. product. And I love the glass. Yes. So this is not a traditional glass, or this is a traditional tasting? The, the traditional tasting uh, glass. L'chaim. That means to life in Hebrew. L'chaim. To life. And how do you say it in... in, uh, in salud? Salud. 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 So how do I taste it? Teach me how to taste okay. it. Okay. Well, every tasting has four, four steps. The first one is that you see the eye. You see the color of the product. You can move it a little bit in the cup and use the density. That the, shows the character of the, the actual yeah, agave? The character, the density, the, the, the sweetness that, that it will have. The second part, it will be the nose. Okay. You, you smell it through the middle. And you have the perception of all the... It smells to me like a little bit of pineapple. Yes. And sweet, but not like nauseous sweet. Sweet, like rich sweet. Yeah, it has, you, in the Blanco expression, you will notice the, the, the herbal part of the agave, mm -hmm. the, the, the sugars that the, the word is still in, 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 in oxygenated and in, in, in rested on, on, on when we prepare the product. What is the next step? Um, you taste it, but you have two processes on the tasting. The first one is mm -hmm. the taste and the aftertaste at the, at the end. So you need to evaluate both of them what you perceive and you get from, from, from tasting it, and what, what it leaves you at, at the end. What's that, that reminder uh, of the permanent uh, flavor that you get at the end? Can okay. we do that? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. It's interesting because I get a tinge of smoke. Yeah. A little bit, and that comes from? The cooking. It's a ah, cooking habit. I was in, before in the oven, that's the... Yeah, that, when, when you were in the oven, especially that's the flavor that, you, that the habit gets when it's cooked. So I like it because it's not like overpowering. How would you describe the, the taste of that? Well, for, for us, it's a really balanced product that, that you have a rich profile of, of, of the agave flavor and you have, in, in the sides, you will have the tenderness of the sweetest, the sweet uh, part of the sugars that, that we took from the agave. It's so interesting because a lot of times when I drink silver or Blanca tequila, it's thin. I feel this has layers of character. Yes. Like, uh, I would taste a five-year-old whiskey, but it's only like what? This, this product? Out. Yeah, in a, yeah, exactly. And, 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 and the interesting part of, of the agave is that it has a real character to it. it, it it's not a simple product. It, 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 as, as you saw here, it has a density, and that will give you... It's not like water, it's more, more uh, untuosity on, on, on the flavors. So the good flavors, you, you will remain them. So and what is a few things when somebody comes into my store and they want to shop tequila, what would you tell them how to drink it? Like, give me a few steps because a lot of people think they have to jug it down and they get like, then they get nauseous or with what to eat it. Walk me through. Well, um, what I could tell you is you can mix this if you want. Uh, it's a sippable tequila. It's really cured and, and, and balanced. It's not that you have to mix it, but it, it, it's blancos are used to, to do that. Uh, you can put a little bit of wa uh, mineral water. Uh, you can have a lemon, lemon, juice. Le lemon juice. Yeah. Um, you can have a sushi. Uh, Why would it go good with sushi? With, with raw fish. It, 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 it will I'm gonna be try good. it. I'm getting back to the states. We're gonna do sushi and. Uh, it, it, it could, it could be a good food. option. Um, a little bit of chicken, probably. You can you can also uh, mix it with that. It doesn't like give you the it, spice. It doesn't have the burn. It doesn't have the spice. So I get what right. you're saying that it it won't overpower the food. No. But yet it's rich enough to drink it while. Yes. Yeah, yeah. 
Eh, para mí el blanco es mi preferido, ese es el que más tomo. Eh, es algo que no tiene todavía, uh, vamos a decir, algo más, algo extra. Puede ser la madera que a muchos les gusta, eh, también ya le da un sabor diferente, pero el blanco es el más puro, el más, para mí el que menos daño hace. What he's explaining is that, that what, when he drinks, he loves to do in blank because it's a pure one. You don't have the wooden flavor still on it, and you will get the best benefits and the best aromas and flavors from that agave. It's interesting region. because as much as I come back to Mexico, I see more and more than always the authentic, you know, in town of tequila mm -hmm. or just Mexican people. They would always tell me, like, try the pure ones, you know. Americans like packaging. You like, you get a gift, three boxes. You get loud music, uh, thick meat, we, we don't have such a rich, rich history, so we're like, it's, sometimes it's Blanco, right? Blanco. Yeah.